Ever get that feeling, you know, when you read something and it just like sticks with you, sends chills down your spine, even after you've put the book down? Oh, absolutely. Well, that's what we are diving into today. Right. An excerpt called The Tension Tree. I see. And let me tell you, this one really gets under your skin. Yeah, it's amazing how this story just like grabs you right from the start yeah. and it just like doesn't let go. It's true. You know, it leaves you with this really unsettling feeling, this knowledge that something is just not right. Yeah, and that twist at the end. Yeah. When the narrator's like, oh, the hum is inside me now. Oh, yeah. Ugh, bone chilling. It's so clever the way this excerpt does that. It is. Like right? you said, plants that seed of fear and by the end you realize, oh, it's in me now too. Yeah. And it really subverts your expectations. Cool. You think this whole time that the threat is like contained to this one creepy tree. Right. But then bam, it breaks free. Exactly. And that idea that ordinary things can become like these conduits for something much darker. Right. That's the type of fear that just stays with you. Sure, sure. For sure. It really makes you think twice about like every dark corner in your house. <laughs> yeah. Every creaky floorboard. Absolutely. But okay. Yeah. Before we get too ahead of ourselves. Okay. Let's take a step back. Okay. How does the author even build this incredible sense of dread in the first place? Right, from the beginning. Right, like it starts innocently enough. Yeah, just a group of kids in the summertime battling boredom. Yeah, which I think we can all relate to. Oh, totally. Reminds me of being a kid hanging out in the woods behind my house, just thinking they were haunted. It's exactly. It's like the author tapped into that, that universal childhood fear. Yes. And then turned something so familiar into something uneasy. Yeah. And speaking of uneasy, the way the author describes that setting, Widow's Woods. Oh, yeah. Masterful. Oh, Just wow. these incredibly vivid descriptions, you know, like shadows that seem to be watching you. Oh. Trees whispering secrets. Right. It's like you're right there with them, feeling that like prickle of fear and then there's the tension tree itself oh yeah this massive ominous presence just like oozing this unsettling hum oh yeah it's like the tree has a heartbeat but it's not a comforting one right it's like that scene in jaws you know you hear the music but you don't actually see the shark right your imagination just runs wild with what could be lurking beneath the surface mm -hmm. and then just when you think okay creepy tree we get it right the story zeroes in on mark and yeah. you see how it starts to affect him right like he's having these crazy vivid nightmares he's yeah. like withdrawing from his friends like he doesn't want to be around them Why you? he keeps mentioning the hum the hum the hum oh yeah it's subtle at first but you can feel that tension you know really building totally. Totally. and the way the author does that without like directly telling you what Mark is going through. Right. It's so much scarier because you're like filling in the blanks yourself. Oh yeah. It's like those old ghost stories, you know, they're like, none the child was never the same. Right, exactly. Like, what happened to the child? Your mind comes up with something so much worse. So much worse. Than anything they could have written. Totally. And then there's that note. Oh yeah. He leaves that note that just says R E N. One word so powerful but it just creates this sense of urgency yeah like pure terror oh yeah you know something happened but you have no idea what you don't know what he saw you don't know what he experienced classic horror movie trope yeah show don't tell exactly really plays on our fear of the unknown for sure and what i find so fascinating is how they use something as simple as a pebble oh yeah to amplify that feeling of what is going on here? It's a brilliant. Like even after Mark's gone, yeah. that pebble's still there. It's like this physical reminder that something is off. Yeah. And it's got that that metallic smell from the woods. Right. Right. It's almost like a bad omen. Yeah. Like you don't want to touch it. Exactly. And because it's something so ordinary. Right. It's just a pebble. Like that makes it even creepier. Totally. Because it makes you wonder, well, if something as simple as a pebble can be like imbued with this sense of dread. What else is out there? Right. It's like those people who are afraid of dolls, you know? Yeah. Like dolls are supposed to be, I don't know, cute and innocent, but there's just something about them that's like... There's something off. Yeah. And our minds make these connections, you know, mm -hmm. between these objects and these emotions. Right, right. And that's what makes the stories ending even better, even more effective. It's like the author took that, you know, that deep fear we all have uh -huh. of the unknown and gave it a physical form first with the tree. Right. But then, well, then it gets really interesting because it's yeah. not just in the woods anymore, is it? Right. Right. When you get that line, the hum of the tree, the tree is the hum. And now it's in me. <sighs> 
that's where it goes from just a creepy story right. to like something much deeper, something more. Because well, now it's contagious. Exactly. Like a virus. But instead of making you sick, it makes you terrified. Right. And it just makes you think like, what is the hum even a metaphor for? That's what I was thinking. Is it our anxieties? Uh, our deepest fears that we just, we carry with us everywhere. It's funny you say that because when I first read it, that's kind of what I thought about. Yeah. You know those anxieties we all have that uh, we carry around? That feeling of unease you just can't shake. Yes. Even when you don't know what's causing it. And that's the brilliance of this excerpt. Totally. It doesn't give you the answers. It leaves you with that, well, what about me? Yes. What are your tension trees? Right. What are those things that are humming under the surface? Exactly. Of your everyday life. And for me, I think that's what makes a story really, truly great. Totally. When it sits with you, you know, even after you're done with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And this excerpt alone makes me think that full, the tension tree story. Oh, yeah. Would be incredible. If you're brave enough to read it. Right. Exactly. You might want to leave the lights on for that one. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into fear. Absolutely. The unknown and the power of a truly great story. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Until next time.